Yo guys, it's the on here and I'm back again with another video. So today I'm reacting to Your Face Sounds Familiar 2021. So last time I reacted to this was maybe 2019 or 2018, I'm not sure. I mean, it's been a while. So um, some of you long time subscribers might actually remember when I used to react to like, things like TNT Boys back in the day. Um, I may have done it in 2019 as well, but definitely didn't do it in 2020, mainly because it, it wasn't on due to you know, the whole um, situation that is still going on right now, which um, I can't say because I'm pretty sure you get demonetized for it. So we're not going to mention what it is, but we all know what it is, let's be honest. Anyway, so today we're reacting to someone called Lai... Re oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. You can see in the title. I don't want to like, offend anyone by pronouncing it wrong or anything. But anyway, she is pretending to be Whitney Houston and she's got to sing I Want to Dance with Somebody. And of course, we're only going to react to the performance. We're not going to react to, like... Um, the whole talking situation because of course I won't understand it, it's not beneficial for me and it's probably a waste of time for you, of course I'm a music kind of reaction channel so well I don't I don't only do music as like what my second most viewed video is um, the Asian opening ceremony back in 2018 so you know it's not all music but most of it and a lot of the time it is anyway so before I start the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. A lot of people watching my videos are not subscribed yet, so down below there is a big red button that says subscribe. Just hit it and join me and army. A lot of you guys are not subscribed. So what are you doing? Yeah, you right there. I see you're not subscribed to this channel, so hit that red button. And, you know, we can be friends. Also, um, comment down below what else you want me to react to. Of course, um, I have run out of ideas. But we have got Your Face Sounds Familiar, which I will do every once a week I guess unless if I don't know I don't know why I wouldn't but um yeah also in the link description there's my Instagram which will pop up here and with my Instagram you can go and like my photos follow me on there you can go and comment on my photos as well but most importantly you can message me on there and I do talk to a lot of you guys we have great conversations so feel free to just message me on Instagram and yeah we can become um the best of friends anyway so we're going to get into it I have to make sure I actually, I nearly got attacked, okay, so um, yeah, we've got to get into it, I have to get to the part where um, she's actually singing, because, um, well, you know, I don't go through the talking stage, so I'm pretty sure she goes up the elevator and then it starts, right, so let's react to this in three, two, one, bam. <laughs> Oh, it, it actually does look good. Look, they don't fight a good job. Oh, she sounds good. I know we've only just got into it, but damn, she actually kind of sounds like Whitney Houston. I want to see if, you know, when she sings the, um, I want to dance with somebody, I want to do, 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 she hits like a little high note in there. I want to see if she can do that, because if she can do that, that is mental. I don't actually know how old she is, because it doesn't say, I just know, like, who she is. Um, yeah, so it's going to be interesting, but she can sing, and of course... They've done really well with the way she looks. Of course, she did a little dance when she came in. It's weird because she's a kid, but she also looks like an adult just because of like the amount of makeup, the way the hair looks. It's because I'm just comparing it to Whitney Houston. Of course, it's not perfect because, you know, they're not actually like a look-alike. They're just like m made up to look like that artist. But wow, it's always like the 80s ones that are always the best. Like TNT Boys did the Bee Gees. Um, they did... Um, Oh my god, Destiny's Child, I'm pretty sure, and that was a really good one, Survivor. But, um, yeah, she actually really does look like Whitney Houston, and that kind of freaks me out a little bit. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how I feel about it. But, um, yeah, so far, she's actually really good. She's got, like, a more mature, um, stronger vocals than a kid would have a more squeaky one. So maybe, like, she might be, like, 15, around that kind of age, maybe 14. Anyway, so let's get back into it in three, two. One. 
not. Okay, we're gonna pause it there again. Alright, so she just did the chorus, and actually, she did it very, very well. Like, of course, it's not gonna be as good as Whitney Houston because Whitney Houston is literally like an icon artist, and like, she's super, super talented. So I can't, I can't compare a kid to Whitney Houston. It just doesn't work like that. But like, in comparison, she's doing it very, very well. Like, probably as well as like just a general adult would do it. Because she even did the little higher bit. Of course, it could be higher. Because Whitney Houston does go quite high when she goes there. He was somebody. But that it was it was pretty impressive. I can't lie. She is very, very good. And um, yeah, it's just, I, I think it's so weird. The way she can sing in such a mature, strong vocal. Like, it's not like, if you watch most kids sing, you know, it's normally very high pitch, they can't really control their voice that well because, you know, it takes a long time to train your voice to, you know, be precise and not be pitchy at all. I mean, of course kids will be, always will be some form of pitchy because you can't train your voice that well at such a young age. Well, I mean, a lot of people can, but it's 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 very, very hard to do. But she is very good, like, she can keep um, the same, like, vocal structure and it's just, it's just really good. Like, it's so... It's so well, she is very well trained, let's put it that way. So yeah, let's just react to more. I'm, I don't think I will pause it anymore, but only time will tell. So let's react to more of it in three, two, one. That was a good high bit. I like the comments that smell for it. Hey, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Good. Oh, damn. Looking over to your face stage, Miss Whitney Houston. Hi, Whitney. Good evening. I've got to leave it there because I'll be talking. <laughs> I love the, I like how the um, actual like host, he's always been doing it. I haven't seen another guy do it, but he always, he talks to them, not like, you know, it's actually them. They talk to him like it's the actual celebrity. So it's like, oh, hi, Whitney Houston. <laughs> I don't know why, but I find that so sort of funny. I love it because it always keeps it in character and always keeps it the same. I, I honestly love it so much. But yeah, she did really, really well. I was really surprised. I can't tell if the um, Your Face Sounds Familiar for episodes is actually the actual company channel or it's just someone who downloads um, or someone who gets the actual episodes and puts it on their channel because it's quite a small channel, it's only got 15k but they're getting the views of course so I don't know, I can't tell if it's the actual company or not but they give me the content so I will take it but anyway yeah, so she was very very good especially at the end, she's really good at controlling her voice and not like breaking character because I can't imagine that's how she actually sings because remember she's impersonating Wendy Houston that's probably not her actual voice but she's put on that voice and has done it really well because she does sound Quite similar. If Whitney Houston was a kid, that is what Whitney Houston would sound like, I believe. So, um, yeah, very, very impressive. Um, I can't imagine me trying to sing and be able to impersonate someone else unless it's like a fictional character that has a really like strong voice, like I know, do like Yoda from Star Wars or Kermit the Frog. You know what I mean? Like, but um, yeah, very, very impressed. Um, she did uh, hit some nice vocals. 
and she has quite she just generally has quite a strong voice so i'm i'm excited to see what else she does of course i think it's gonna be um, a lot of females that have quite a strong like voice and maybe maybe she could do my carry but i don't know if she'll have the ability to do the whistle i mean not many people have the ability in general to do it but only time will tell so anyway, guys if you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you are new as i said earlier a lot of people watch my videos are not subscribed yet so what you're doing hit that subscribe button and join the Amitan army and also comment down below what else you want me back to and yeah i will see you guys later peace